My name is Scott Curran. I'm with Going Man. Today we'll be going over the Phantom 4 RTK processing steps in PIX40. So after step one is done, uh, you will get something that looks like this. Um, so this is your uh, pixel pixels from your camera. So if I click on any one of these dots here, uh, it gives me automatic tie points from the pictures. Uh, so Pix4D picked out that same point here in every one of these pictures. Uh, so after step one is done, uh, you would want to make sure you go into uh, up here, enter your GCPs and your checkpoints, uh, your uh, text file, CSV file. Uh, to do that, you would uh, hit, hit the import GCP, hit browse, and locate on your desktop where you have your GCP file. Hit open, um, and it pulls in my GCPs. I would hit OK. Uh, from here you will see some green dots on your screen here. Uh, these are the points associated with that GCP. If you come over here to PIX4D, hit the GCP, uh, the manual tie point drop down, you will see all your control points are listed or checkpoints are listed here. Uh, to tie these down, I would click that number one control point, which highlights it here on my screen, and I would go in here and edit and tie down these points to my mark on my screen. So you would click here, and it drops it down. You would click here, click here, um, and hit apply. Once you hit apply in this screen right here, it pulls in the rest of the pictures associated with that control point. Uh, you can go through each one and click in the center of your uh, aerial target. Um, and do that for at least three GCPs um, when tying down uh, the RTK. Uh, so I have this one in this corner tied down as a 3D GCP. Um, I have this one in the middle of the site uh, tied down as a 3D GCP. Um, and I have this one on this angle tied in at a, a 3D GCP. Notice my uh, ground targets are in an angle across the site here. Uh, they're not just one here, one right beside it. And notice that if I go back into my checkpoints, my checkpoints are throughout the site and not just uh, around my ground panel. Um, so you would tie all those down. Uh, after you tie them all down, uh, you would come up to process, re-optimize, and re-optimize step one. After you re-optimize step one, uh, you get a quality report um, here's the quality report from this site after the first step so this lets me know after the first step that I have uh, 50,040 key points per image it lets me know all 360 images uh, were calibrated at 100% uh, I have a relative uh, difference between initial and optimized uh, camera parameters of 0.61%. Um, I have a median of 18,499.5 matches per one of those calibrated images there. Um, I have three GCPs tied down uh, with an RMS error of 200s, right at 300s, 0.26. Uh, go down here, this is your flight path. Uh, these are really accurate circles here. Uh, these are green and blue circles. Uh, you want them really over top of each other. Uh, the next thing in this screen you want to go look at um, is this. This is your overlap. Within your images, the blacker it is, the more overlap you have in that area. Uh, so for your site, you really want this as black as possible. Um, if I come down into this screen, um, this is my control points. Um, I've tied all of these down. You can see the verification marks over here. Uh, within those control points, I have an error of four hundredths in X, uh, one hundredth in Y, two hundredths in Z. And on my checkpoints, I have an error of eight hundredths in X, 
seven hundredths and y seven hundredths and z. And to prove this, you would go back into this screen, locate one of your checkpoints that you did not tie down, and just make sure that this little blue circle here is in the, di in the direct center of this uh, checkpoint. I have marked this checkpoint nine times. Uh, within those nine times, I have an error to GCP initial positioning of six hundredths, uh, one tenth, and one hundredth in uh, Z. I'll go back and check into another checkpoint, do the same thing. I have an error of one hundredth, uh, six hundredth, and one hundredth in Z. So I feel pretty comfortable with these checkpoints. Checking into these checkpoints, I can process step two. Uh, so step one uh, is just entering the pictures, entering your GCPs, and tying down your GCPs. And just make sure after you tie down those GCPs, you've re-optimized step one.